Hey friends, Shane from HunterRinch.com. We got a new tool in the workshop. We got this Seasai Impact, and we were excited to try this for a couple reasons. Number one, I wanted an impact to just carry in my truck, especially for when we're camping, to make it that much easier just doing tire repairs or changes. It has got a bunch of nice features. You're gonna see what all it comes with. The other thing is, I've started to get a lot of equipment that uses this 21 volt battery that has the same style charging system on it okay so i've already got chargers that would work for this that plug in here or on here that fit my chainsaw a blower a bunch of stuff around the house so i thought man this is really cool if it happens to be the same 21 volt uh, charger and it turned out it was we're gonna give this thing a try it's gonna take more of a long-term test to think about the other uses that we could actually use on it Obviously, tires are easy enough, but when I think about the workshop, where else could I use an impact, especially for removal? You can use this on motorcycle axles as far as popping those off. You think about doing the fasteners, especially I think can be difficult sometimes as a clutch basket, a front sprocket, a primary drive on a crankshaft. You know, there's plenty of stuff that you could take and use an impact for. And when I think about this, I guess the way I'm describing it is I'm talking about a big impact or a high torque impact okay this does has a trigger that'll feather you can see it'll go slow to wide open so you can feather it i am never a fan of taking half inch drive in a thing on small fasteners so there's the right tool for the right place the examples that i just laid out are perfect for that let's go hey friend smash that subscribe button it really helps us out hundreds of videos and playlists on here for you enjoy the video I just got back from my long trip home to Iowa to see a fork. Pretty awesome to have that opportunity, but it's fun. I had a leaking tire pretty low and rolled around through the parking lot and was able to pinpoint at least one little bugger that I picked. Some of the other videos and product reviews I did just recently, one of them was this jump starter and air compressor. It's a combo, the jump starter and the ability to air your tires. So it's fantastic. I aired it up right in the parking lot went to a gas station grabbed a plug kit just as like kind of an emergency deal and thought you know what i'll go find a place to get my tire fixed well so i was driving down the road i thought well, what it looks like to be prepared on a work trip and on the road and what should you have in your vehicle so i wanted to show some of the things that when i know i'm going to be traveling especially long distances i prepare this tool bag in the truck i keep in there it's got screwdrivers you know, Allen's metric and standard and some of those common tools I use. I got a funnel, I got cable ties, electrical tape, a wiper, uh, I got a meter. And then under one of the little storage areas in here, I also keep a multimeter. And you can see I got it labeled. It's actually no longer a Harbor Freight meter, but I got a low meter, just a cheap meter and a scan tool in there as well. And then I'm a huge fan of i you know i've got this four way because i have it but i love just having a good old-fashioned breaker bar and my socket from your csi take a look at these specs real quick 650 newton meters 479 pounds also has a brushless motor let's look into it comes in a nice case i've got some accessories some bits even came with some drill bits and a strap and some other oh i didn't see this has adapters I guess I just better open this thing up. And if this happens to have my 22, does have a bunch of sockets. I'll figure out. No way. 22. That's pretty cool. I bet this is a bunch of common wheel lugs. Just thinking about what people may use this for. That means I could take this fancy dancy one and put it back in my toolbox. That's cool that it came with one. That's awesome. Let's do a proper unboxing of this and see what it comes with. If you didn't notice already, it is a, a pretty nice case. Padded as well. We see a manual, the tool, the charger, two batteries. Both of them came uh, fully charged. But here was the goodie package. I want to do a proper job to show everything so we've got a 17 let's see 18 that was my 19 
20, 21, and 22, all in the half inch drive. This one is really cool that it's your quarter inch adapter. <laughs> the, I could see this potentially for these drill bits. So you can see here, it came with a selection of hammer drill bits. Now, when I think of any time I've ever had to work in concrete, I would grab my drill that has a hammer function. But being how this is an impact, I could see where that would work, of course. But you've got a selection of those hammer drills for concrete. And then these are wood forester bits. Got four sizes there that, like I said, go right into your quarter adapter. I really worry about the strength of this breaking bits like this, but I don't know. Let's try something out here. Let's try something out. So you got a selection of torques. Get two of those. We've got a T15 and a T20, it looks like. Is that 20 or 25? 20. A 15, a 20. Two standards, two number three Phillips, it looks like. Actually, take that back. That is a number. It's not labeled. That's a number two. This would look like a number one then. Looks bigger than a one, but smaller than a two. Uh, what's our strap for here? You've got a strap. I suppose you could do like a lanyard around there. I'm really not sure what they're going after on that. Got me too curious. Let's see what they say in the good old manual. Oh, well, uh, this is this is interesting. They don't list the strap. Is that for the case itself? Could the case become a... I don't see a place to put that. Whether you want to put that around your shoulder, maybe? Could go through both the... Well, I'm going to be honest, I'll have to look at the ad. I'm not totally sure what their intention is for that, but this is this is pretty interesting here. Check this out. So they have this. I'll grab my big socket here. Can go over here. The idea here is that you'd line that up. put this pin through it as a retaining pin and now I'm physically locked on there I guess so you wouldn't take the risk of it of it falling off it's kind of an interesting retention design I haven't seen something like that but these o-rings are sized differently for the different size sockets I could see and you've got three of these pins in there and they actually look to be different sizes as well that is a really interesting retaining design seems to take a little bit more time than i would probably want but who knows maybe there's something i'm not thinking about there all right my friends that is a quick rundown of what you're going to get if you purchase one of these for yourself let's leave that one out so what I wanted to do was just test it to yank off. These wheels haven't been off since they've been rotated since I put them on here this last uh, uh, year. I think I had them rotated probably last February, but I hardly drive now. So they've been on there for a bit. And then I just want to make a point. I am not at all a fan of impacts for installation tools. I know you're going to see a million people on there just ba 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 yanking it on. When I'm on the road traveling, if you hadn't seen these videos we did on these e-torque torque wrenches, I mean, they are just fantastic 
an absolutely amazing price point. And the guy that is behind these e-torques, he did patents for Craftsman on their torque wrenches back in the day. It's kind of a neat story. You have to check out our other videos for that. But I'll put links to this stuff all below because what a combination of a toolkit on the road. Think about that. I've got a jump starter to jump start a dead battery or help someone else out on the road. I've got my tire inflator, which you see here that I used on the morning when I had the uh, low tire to get me to the gas station. Talk about save the day. And then now thinking about having this impact versus having to you know rely on the good old breaker bar. Probably still gonna take it as a backup, but man, that is it's pretty cool. So let's see how this works, right? Got a million different uses, obviously, it can be used for. And then I'm gonna go ahead in this video and pop in this little plug kit because I do need to get to, uh, I'm gonna go to um, Discount Tires where I get my tires here in Phoenix. I'm gonna head back over there and have them put a proper patch on the inside. I'm not a big fan of plug only, but I wanna have something in there just to get down the road and I thought you know what it's good practice too I haven't used one of these in a really long time and you need to think about that in your skill sets too if you aren't practicing an emergency repair same thing think about with like fire extinguishers if you wait to the day you need it you're not going to be probably very good at it okay so something uh something to think about so let me switch up the camera I'll start with the impact wrench and we'll just kind of have some fun with this like I said how you best prepare yourself for that bad day when you don't want it to uh, strand you. So anyway, if you haven't done so yet, make sure and like, share, and subscribe. Let's get into playing with some of these tools. All right. Full battery. This doesn't feel like an impact right there, but let's see. Holy smokes, I'm gonna love this thing. I'm gonna love this thing. And I looked up the torque spec on these and they were 130. So let me just zip that baby back on there. Let's do another one just to... Man, that is gonna be fantastic. That's just way easier than busting your back trying to break these big fasteners. Stinking cool is that. So while we're at it, look at the quality of this e-torque wrench. There's a couple different versions. They have some with a dial in there as well, but we've got a really nice firm lock on here. So if I take this here, I'm gonna set that up to my 130. And I'm just always a big fan of like half torquing such a big deal since I didn't take all of these off but why not man that is gonna be handy for a lot of uses in the shop especially like sprockets primary gears clutch baskets all that that big stuff that we work on in the motorcycle shop There's a lot more than half torque there. <laughs> so to... One thirty. Tell you what, if I had a problem on the road, I'd be prepared, wouldn't I? The other thing I want to recommend, and I'm going to be super honest right now. I'm realizing I'm guilty of this on this truck is you should be practicing let me switch the camera up you should be practicing how to get your spare out and then making sure I'm definitely going to do it right now to check the air pressure again on this I haven't done it since the tire swaps which is actually pretty stupid that I went on the road trip and did not verify that this was good I mean I know I have the pump but It'd just be better to, you know, have it set and good to go. And if you don't know how to get these out, 
you're gonna have to look in your owner's mail for your make and model. Because a lot of times they go through the bumper, they'll have like an access point uh, on your bumper. And this one goes through here. And then all the tools are usually gonna be found under your seat somewhere. Just have to look at your manual. They might be under there. You can see here, I still keep a pair of jumper cables just because it's a really good idea. Look at this, I can keep my own tire gauge in there. I've compared that against that jump pack. They're off a couple of PSI between the two, but at least I've got something to go off of. I think this one's actually a little more accurate, but this wasn't a cheap one either. All right, there is my jack components under that passenger seat right there. And like I said, take a look at your vehicle, figure out where that stuff is, get it out while you got a chance. Especially if you got kids or family member just doesn't know anything about this stuff. It's a great idea to get out there and practice before you need it. Do it at the comfort of your home where you don't have to worry about the stresses of being on the side of the road. All right, my friends, I hope that video helped you, made you kind of think about like how you can best prepare yourself. And then also the, the feedback I usually get around this when this opportunity comes up is people just go, you know what, I just don't practice those things that are absolutely gonna change the course of a day on whether you're prepared and have the ability to do that and so on. I have to really give credit to my my full-time job with zipline in the aviation and that drone space because this is what we do. We do drills, we practice, we prepare, we have checklists, we inventory things frequently just to be ready when we need to pull that lever to uh, save the day, if you will. So hope you found this useful. If you haven't done so yet, make sure and like, share, and subscribe. Make it a great day and as always, keep wrenching.